Hello everybody, welcome. This is Milnar, and today we're playing Lords of the Fallen. So this is a an interesting type of game. It's kind of Souls-like uh, game. Uh, and it has some interesting uh, startup sequences that I didn't record just uh, for time's sake so we can really see the other, but do definitely check them out. So of course the standard uh, controller movements. Oh, that was... You do a quick reversal. Nice. And you look around. And it is a beautiful looking game. Good graphics on it. This is a 1.5 version. It's, it's a, still a, a few years old game. Um, but it is the most recent version that they released. Looks like we can do basic movement. Uh, we got... Uh, Equinox that we can cast with the X button. We got uh, two hand that we can pick between. Uh, I don't know what uh, each one does, but we'll keep that one picked. I'm sure we'll learn as we go through. Uh, the summary of the cutscene is there was a Crusader guy running with that lantern that's on our hip there. He was about ready to be caught. He threw it and it landed on a corpse down in there. Uh, right over there at the beginning where we started out at. Um, and then he was taken out by whatever was chasing him. Uh, then the lantern lit up and we kind of came back to life from our corpse. A mysterious man crouched over us and said, Hey, you got a second chance. Uh, come meet me down the road. We got work to do. And so now we're going out and look around. So we have quick attack and we have heavy attack. Oh, that's a good heavy attack. You can do a quick. Okay, and we can target. That's good. And we can roll, so that's good. That's where we started at. Okay, let's see. Stuff that way. But I want to see what's down here. There's something down here. We move slow in water, so I'll have to remember that. An in innervated skull. We go look at our quick access item. Uh, grants 200 vigor. But it's almost empty of vigor. But I'm assuming we can then recharge it at some point. Cool. And yeah, that just goes through what I already knew where you can target multiple creatures. Anything else in here to loot? Doesn't look like it. Really just a walkthrough. Here we go up this way. Don't jump. Oh, there, we do have the roll. And Brent, we hold down or click that button. Excuse me, coming through. Okay, you can jump. Almost fell down there. Would it be worth falling down there, though? I think it's... I think so. That's one of those sitting items. If you fall down, you can pick something up. Got a Forsworn. What is that? Kinds of things. Rosary. Horse horn. Allows you to change the color of your armor. That's kind of cool. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, don't do that. Yeah, remember, B is roll, A is jump. You stop taking damage, buddy. I did it first time by accident. Because I was reading what it said real quick. There we go. A little bit precise on that. Dash and roll. So we can target and get around enemies. And roll out of danger, so... Oh. That's why I wanted us to roll and dash is. So dash. So I just dash this back or double. Double dash or double B. Does the roll. Okay. What do we got up here? Throwing a rock. A throwing rock. Open your inventory. Start to modify. Modify equipment. So, inventory. Okay. What did that do? Oh, you got single-handed and two-handed weapons because I only have a sword. There's that. I want that uh, mini come back up. Okay, for bows, crossbows, and troubles, left trigger, stay in range mode. Quick access menu, how to switch between ammunition types is the right button and right trigger to aim down the sights. For cutlass L, left trigger, press the stay in range mode. Okay, I have the, the rock now. And hit him. Okay. Interesting mechanic. Ah. Uh, you get item fall down, that's good to know. Got a wooden cross. Okay. Looks like we go this way. I'm not going to that door yet. I want to... Aha! I'm gonna sell out of curiosity. Interesting. Hey, 
I can see it. I gotta figure out how to get rid of it, I guess. Okay. these two together. Additional media stands to be switched. Y button. Do with that the great combos, okay. Okay. So that cross is a primary healing tool. Also got other healing tools. You can access that quick option, so kind of standard souls base. So if I need to heal, I can heal. Doing that. There we go. Didn't really need to heal yet. You set the umbrella lamp, left trigger, and hold the X to transition. You gotta hold the X. Press the general lamp, raise it, and so far locked on target. So these guys lock on it, hold this up, and then do it. Okay. Lock on enemy, set the umbrella lamp, and press the right trigger. Okay, so it's a different type of attack. Okay. I didn't do that the exact way they wanted, but... There we go, now we're through here. So flying an enemy soul consumes a soul flay charge. Select the umbrella lamp, raise it, left trigger, then siphon enemies and blister to recover it. Okay. Siphoning also provides additional vigor. Okay. So I need to. Forms after a while, okay. Let's move forward. These are recharging our powers. Your health receives wither when entering Umbrella and performs certain actions. Withered help 
can be covered by damaging enemies. So however, you will lose it all instantly if you're struck. Okay, I don't want to get struck. Okay. So don't don't get struck. get ourselves the saintly bosom. Interesting, this is different. Okay. Nothing there. Definitely an interesting realm. that up. I shouldn't use it up for now. But it's the charge back up. Okay. Prompts can make your presence increase known to inhabitants. The longer you spend it, the more dangerous it is. Well let me out of it then. Okay. Let's get out of this then. Oh, that disappeared. Well, let's get up here. Maybe, this, maybe you can't get out until you get to a certain spot. Okay. Okay. I did some major damage to the door. Now we can go out the door. Nice. Okay. Now that's making a little sense. Took a little bit, but that's making a little sense. Okay, we have to find those to come back. Okay. So you find them to come back to the real world. Gotcha. Now we're back here to the door. Nice. That's actually not too bad. It's, I'm starting to make a little sense. There's some weird mechanics, but we'll, we'll get it figured out. Well, let's see what it looks like out here. Once after these are point of revival, should you die? Okay, so this is like the, yeah, the resting places where you can rest. Upgrade your character, multiplayer, echoes of battle, crucible. So let's. Can I do any upgrades to my character? Not yet. Close, but not yet. Echoes of battle, nothing. Crucibles, nothing. Can we rest? 
Rest, I'm assuming that will make anything we killed come back and it recharges us, yes. Standard play. Cool. So that was something like what uh, threw lamp at us or something that said something there. What was it? That's vegetables. Vegetables. Ve yeah. That's a hard word to pronounce. Okay, we got a map. Factor journal. There's the journal. And that's the map. Okay, so that shows us the map. That's an interesting map. And you can move in the background, so you do have to be cautious and not walk off a cliff. Okay, it looks fairly straightforward. Okay, blocking. I don't have a shield to block, though. Left button, just on impact, with the left button you can parry. Okay, that's good to know. To work on that parry attack. That's that's got some timing. Okay, what's going on with this? Okay. Give me that lamp. That's the guy that did all the uh, killing to the first crusader. Take this guy out. I don't think you're supposed to win against him. There's no way I was defeating him. We're back here. I'm not sure how we defeat him. Here's an embryo you can pick up your vigor. Was dropped. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I was supposed to uh, win that battle. And he's gone now. Something up there. No way up there yet. I need to get a lot stronger if we have to fight him on a regular basis. What do we have over here? Anything? Oh, 
Okay, can we? Okay, how do I get out of that mode now? If I go back here and rest, can I get out of this mode by resting? I don't know, I have to try. Okay, we're back out of the mode. Okay, good. I went in that mode thinking, hey, maybe there's a reason. Well, there's a big red light that way. Big tower that way. Okay. Huh, don't know what that is. Okay, we got a path to the left. Number of parasites are simply they merged with other creatures, protecting them or granting enhanced powers. Let the umber lamp find the parasite and destroy it. Okay, so he's got enhanced powers because of something right there. Okay. That's how you destroy it. Map of the Brandon Barrel Corpse. So that sometimes means there's path is blocked here, but maybe somewhere else. Question is, is do I go this way or the other way? Well, let's see. Next, and once you're off from the environment element, F3 and so flay it with the L2 in the right paper way. Now, before I go that way, what was the other way? There's a path this way. See, I would have missed this. Again, there is path looks like it's blocked at the moment so keep wanting to hold that button down to run because of so many uh, days of playing Elden Ring but we'll go this way and our next episode we're going to go through this way and see what it holds that appears to be the way we need to go but I hope you enjoyed this first look at Lords of the Fallen. It's definitely an interesting game. I do want to do a, a few more rounds of it, see what everybody thinks of it along with me. So like always, give me a like and subscribe. Let me know in comments what you think of the game. And we'll see you on the next one.